Hey, what's going on guys and girls? I'm Colleague Phoenix here and welcome to episode number three of my Wild West and Wizards Let's Play series. So I've decided to switch over to a gunslinger. Um, I literally just got a new character, played up to the point where we're at. The only thing I've missed mm -hmm. is I talked to Eleanor off camera. Um, so she's got a... Um, she's got a diary and it details how she's in love with one of the bandits and she doesn't want people to know that so yeah we, she wants the, the diary back but that's literally the only difference i played um i played it basically the exact same way as i did in the last episode the only thing i haven't done is i didn't go and kill pearl this time um i figure that's probably probably for the best to not kill pearl so that's the only difference between uh the last character in this character. Otherwise, everything is exactly the same. Uh, we need to head south. We are heading the wrong fucking direction. So let's go south. See if we can't mess some fools up. So I also obviously ran the cave mission already and stuff. Did all that. Um, so yeah. Basically exactly the same. Still don't know where that key is though. Not not um not sure where the key is at all. Dude, this run it's a long run, man. We're gonna might as well just go over and get um <clears throat> get some areas unlocked as we pass. Also take these guys. Dodge fire, man. Okay, we don't have to worry about fire, man, anymore. You can shoot me through the bush, that's some bullshit. Thank you. Thanking you. Very good. Another Bible pamphlet. I don't think we have 10 on this character, though. Of the pamphlets. And we have 6. Let me get these, some of these points of interest unlocked. Haven't we already been here? Why is that still locked? Oh, we went here on the last character. Um, hmm. Dude, the magic murder. Is this a long way across the map? I guess we'll just head over there. Storage cave. Interesting. But we're not actually where we want to be yet. This is before it. Oh, what's in here? Something that requires a key. Interesting, interesting. Right, well, that's a place to come back to, I guess. Oh, there's a grave over here. Do you happen to have the key? Nope. One man could dream, you know. What the fuck? Okay, you need to fix that, devs. That's, uh, that's not right, dear. It looks funky as hell. What? Not lootable? No, I didn't... Is there a key in here? By chance? Hidden somewhere? I doubt it. It doesn't look like it. Let's go out. Whoa. Get out of here, dude. Rare scorpion tail, though. Pretty good. Don't know. I guess it's all, it's all just money, really. It's all that really nets me is money. I hate that. Yeah, there's a 
bandit camp down here. Bit of a bandit camp -roo. So what does this... I haven't checked. What does this actually do? Enemy nameplate will stay visible. You can only have one rival at a time. Oh, it does do, um... It does do things. Not not that far reaching though. There it is. Good. Gotta get his attention. Oh no. <laughs> Fucking scorpion. Oh! Thanks, tree. Magic boys can kiss my butt. Just awful to deal with. Right, got your attention. I got the attention of two of them that time. Not what I wanted. Oh god. Oh shit. You're pretty strong. Shit, stop. You have a shotgun, I think, and it seems pretty decent. And you won't give me it. Asshole. Now, there's one more dude, I think. I can see his legs. Some abilities, so obviously this guy's abilities are different. Uh, that could be good. We'll do that. Because I tend to do that by, like, I tend to do that type of stuff a lot. Most of it's shit. Oh, the storage cave key. Where we found some place to store our supplies, the cave north of here up on the hill has worked out great. Gonna lock it up and keep the key over here for now. Boss don't want no new recruits taking more than their fair share. Well, thank you. Tell your boss he's a fuckwit. There's another one of you guys. Eat him. Thanks. My dudes. Can't say it was necessarily worth it unless there's some really good stuff in that cave. 
Hope there is. Ooh, mana potion. Not that I have any magic shit, but you know. Things can't be choosers. Right, so let's go to that cave again, I guess. We're here. Alright. What do we got? Bandage, empty glass. Rifle. Not bad. Alright, let's do the chest first. Common ranges. That's terrible. Some okay stuff. There's nothing really special. Rifle does 42 damage. Problem is, we only have 35 shots with it. We keep going this way to the magic murders area. Go, let's go, let's go. Is it over there? Is that it? Yep. Alright, so we come through here and we just keep going this way then. That's some statue over here. It's got elixirs lying everywhere apparently. Here lies a monument dedicated to one of the great three enchanters. May their deeds never be forgotten. Edgetown Chapel of the Righteous Rising Sun Library. I assume that's the big motherfucker over here. Big pit. One would assume anyway. More rifle bullets, that's always good. Does a lot of damage, but it takes a long time to reload, so... You know, you're, um... Your mileage may vary. Doesn't look like anybody's in there. Doesn't look like anybody's at least outside. Lights are on though. Abandoned house, huh? Well, this is it. Oh shit. You bitch. Check outside first. Benches and stuff everywhere. Shotgun. Need a cellar key. Do we now? Dude, I will say climbing on certain terrain is buggy as hell. No key up there. Hello? Oh god. Shit got fucked up. Aha. Need to be a key in here somewhere. What's going on in the cellar? Down here, brewing potions. You're brewing potions. The master has commanded we open the portal by nightfall, or our lives may be forfeit. I have tried every known dark spell and concoction, but nothing seems to be working. If we don't get it open soon, we are done for. Well, I guess you got got, dude. You got godded. So I guess this is could turn it was they were trying to turn this door into a portal. Oh god, I got to walk behind it. Didn't know that. What the 
Rendered under the map. Right, well, I don't know where the key for that could be. I didn't see it. Aha! I knew he would hide shit in the buckets. And this is the first time I've seen something in, inside one of the buckets, so I know it can be a thing. Cool. Alright, well, that's mystery solved, I guess. Whatever you consider solved. Let's return to town. We can sell some of this uh, armor and shit that we don't want. I think that would be best. Okay. I'm gonna get rid of this armor first. Open the door. Hello. Alright, so I don't want it. Um Oh, that's a comparison. Oh, it just compares it to the rifle. It's not what I want to do. Cool. Let's get rid of that. Get rid of that. 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 Alright. I'm happy with my sales. Let's go in here, I think. Magic Murders, was it you? Well, it is if we fear dark magic. It seems so. Very well, then we need to deal with this, but this is beyond me. Go and talk to the wizard in town here and tell him what you found. If anyone knows how to trace down his behind these dark magic slangs, it'll be him. Owen, oh, thanks for in investigating for me. Here's some gold as payment. 100 gold. Mm. Alright, cool. Good, good. So, I went up in uh, the inn again. Um, I guess I haven't done it on this this thing, this character, but I wouldn't have found this. I ended up actually looking at Google to see if it was a thing that had been posted. This game isn't really super popular, so a lot of the questions, things that I, I wouldn't expect to be answered, but this one was. They said, jump up on the bed. The keys are hidden really well, and I found it. So now we can go do albino scorpion boyos. So we got Wizards Resurrection, Doctor's Orders, and Secret Cellar. Um, whoops. Uh, secret Cellar. The innkeeper mentioned a rumor that the bank had a secret cellar. I should keep my eye out. Doctor Clint in Edgetown wants me to find albino scorpion. Uh, Alright, so Let's go up to the windmills And go check out this albino scorpion Bread Shell casing, bread, more bread All the bread How you doing dude? Kill you I think it was this far one Now, I don't know whether this is going to be like regular sized scorpion or big scorpion. That's a scorpion. Ah, oh, you bitch. Ah, oh, shit. Okay. We also probably should upgrade our gun. Uh, cellar is here. <gasps> oh, Jesus. I'm sorry. 
Dude, that's so cool. I'm so sorry. It's just a teeny little scorpion, dude. The doctor better be right. I have to keep little Snowtail in here since the folk in Edgetown have such a hatred toward his kind. He can't help it. So what if he shoots poison out of his tail or snips the occasional finger off? He's a good pet and I love him. Found him when he was a wee little pincher. I'll keep you safe down here, my little Snowtail. Don't you worry. Oh, fuck. I'm sorry, Pearl. I murdered him. In cold blood. All for the sake of quests. Sorry. Um, I can also put this ring on, yeah? Yeah, heat resistance. Uh, do I talk to Pearl? What does that do? Yeah, hmm. uh, no, it's the same shit. Right, let's just go to the doctor then. Have any luck finding that scorpion? Fantastic, I knew you'd come through. And listen, don't worry about Pearl. She'll get over losing her pet, beastie. Here, take this as payment. I appreciate your help. Cool, dude. Have a look at what I have to sell. Fuck you. You're mean. You're a mean man. You're a horrible human being. Right, so apparently it's some secret seller. Not bad. Not bad at all. Thank you, Pearl. My main squeeze, dude. Alright, so I've got to speak to the wizard. Um, yeah, we'll do that. We'll get the quest first. Hello. Howdy friend, can I interest you in some potions or maybe have a scroll that needs to be identified? Dark magic. Dark magic. Ah, the sheriff must have sent you over here. Told me he suspected those murders might have something to do with dark magic. But he needed to send someone to investigate. Guess that someone was you. Well, sorry to disappoint you, but I'm no expert on dark magic. My teacher was thorough. But asking him will be a bit of a problem. Why is that? Well, he's kind of dead. Dead? Yep, dead as a doornail. Though I suppose we could bring him back. But you can't tell anyone in town about this. Everyone's already on edge with rumors of dark magic. If they find out I brought a corpse back without using a bind stone, well, you know how people are. This isn't going to be an easy task, though. Are you up for it? Yeah, we need a rare magical artifact known as the Gem of Oblivion. The gem is old, ancient, in fact. It's said to carry with it the very magic of life itself. Wizards have studied it for ages. It's even been rumored to bring back the dead. In fact, the original enchanters who fashioned what you call bind stones used rock dust from the gem to make them. That's partially how they work, so you just need to get the gem and bring it to me. That's simple. Well, not quite. The last known location of the gem is in a cave known as Enchanter's Sanctuary. The cave is east of here nestled against the rock plateau with the big house on top of it. Head southwest out of town and follow the signs towards downtown. That should get you there. The entrance is locked behind an enchanted gate. You need a special lock stone to get in. Lucky for us, I have one. Take this lock stone and use it on the pedestal outside the gate. It should deactivate the barrow and allow you in. Oh, and good luck. I don't know what dangers lie in the cave. Of course you don't. Uh, of course you don't. And... Shop. Okay. Well, wizard, you don't really interest me, apart from the quest, obviously. But what I need to do now is I need to go to the blacksmith. Hello, Blacksmooth. Hey there, I'm the Craftsman's Counter. Well, recently I wanted to get supplies. Oh, I haven't done the tool one yet. I forgot about this. Uh, oh, I can do that. Um, upgrade. Alright, let's do that twice. And then let's upgrade this. We can't. We need to be level 4. Fucking shit. Okay. Alright, cool. Well, at least we get the repeater upgraded a couple times. Now you, general store lady. Um, I want to sell that. 
that, 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 this, that, that. Cool. Cleaner inventory, actually. I didn't grab the stuff off the shelves, did I? Mine, 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 mine. Fine, thank you. Oh. Yeah, there's a few things I didn't do that I'd done last time, but I know where they are. Now I can just walk in and straight in front of her very eyes, unlock this and take her shit. It's so fucked up. It's like, hey lady, how you doing? You just, you just take her shit, dude. Alright. Uh, okay. Alright, so one thing I did want to do as well is I want to go to Ed Shack quickly. And I want to go this way. Oh, here we go. An unmarked grave. Place marker. Here we go. That's Earl. Quest updated. Look out, Earl. I placed Earl's grave marker over his final resting place. I should let the townsfolk know. What? Like this dude? This one dude? Um... Or do you mean, like, people in Edgetown? I don't even remember who I fucking got this quest off. Oh, I guess they, I guess that's what they mean, yeah. Right. Well, let's go let the townsfolk know. How you doing, Scott? Hey, buried Earl. You don't give a shit. You could not even give one fuck. You don't give a fuck either. Maybe it's the chick in the saloon? Hey, what about you? you? Don't give a fuck. You don't want to talk to me at all. I think I smell funny. I got a horrible body. Like, I just got a horrible body odor. Hello. Hmm. Uh, Earl's grave. You returned his grave marker. That's kind of you, Pilgrim. It wasn't asked of you, but you did it anyway. I'll look out. Earl's resting more peacefully now because of you. Here for your trouble. Cool. Right, we're just completing quests today, dude. We're flying through them. It's good. So we can do tools of the trade quickly, which we've already done, so I'll bypass walking over there. Oh my god, I've been paused this entire time. Alright, well I cleared the bandit camp. <laughs> it's it's done. I picked up the bag for for the blacksmith. So that that's the thing. That's good. This is what I get for like clicking the unpause button and not looking over at OBS to make sure it actually unfucking paused. So I've been talking to myself for literally no one to ever hear, which is cool. Except for myself. Which I do, you know, I, I, I hear myself a lot as it is. I don't need to hear myself for no reason. I uh, found them. Ah, oh, thank goodness. I really like this tools. Here, take this for your troubles. Thank you, sir. Do you have... You have bullets, uncommon rifle bullets. They're four gold each, but I have a fuckload of gold. I'll take all of the ones you've got. Um, and I will sell you... I will sell you nothing. I thought I got a gun. Yes, I did. I got a repeater. You take the repeater. Cool. Can't rob you blind. Yeah, but I can take the revolver bullets. And that, and that. Hey, what's over there? It's coming through your window. Take that. Alright, beautiful. Good stuff. Alright, we got, got quite a lot of quests done so far. It's, it's good. Uh, forbidden love. She's since broke it off. East towards downtown, right before you get to Paul's house. 
Hands downtown. It's all the way over here, dude. It's a bit of a walk. That's a bit of a walk. So what are we going? Southeast. So it's over there. All right, well, I guess that's what we'll be doing on the next episode. Because anyway, that's going to be the end of this episode. But if you liked it, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more West, Wild West and Wizards in the future, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media links down in the description below. Thank you all so much for watching, and I hope you all have a lovely day. All right, peace!